welcome again so in previous tutorial we have created a simple controller for our application in this tutorial we will create a template so if we see in our browser we are now able to see our students table data like that so this actually happened because I just echo and JSON include students information and give any exit in here that for that I I am able to see like this but if I just comment this boot line and this just open it and after save if we just give and reload our page we will see the missing template that means that our students controller need template for rendering the view so for that I'm just going in my terminal and open my terminal here and going to uh, sim give a simple command to access bean folder because I have told in previous tutorial to give any command in CACPHP we have to go in bean folder bean folder call CACPHP shell folder so I'm just typing cd that means change directory then going in bean folder typing bean then hit on enter you can see that the directory has been changed cac my app to cac my app slash bean so now let's uh, type cac and hit on enter you will see available com command for your cac cac page application so you can see this in back there is a, a command called template so you will keep this template command in here so for that i'm just typing cac back template and name of your uh, table that calls students table we are creating our template for a student's table and I've just uh, written students then after hit on enter that everything has done that means view has been created in uh, template folder so if you go in our uh, source here is a folder called templates if you just open it you will get your students now in here so this source has been created for this command cagback create cagback template and uh, students this command for this command it has been generated this four file for you so now if we just uh, close this panel go in your browser then just reload the page you will see a complete student list in here like that and uh, now you are able to view your source this is happening because we just same thing had did in previous tutorial this two line we have to remove and we have to open it so this means when you will write uh, this set this set method actually send your uh, object or your students information that you have gra uh, grab in here and this information will send by the set method with variable call student you can change it but now when you will keep it a student that means you you are able to grab it in view now let's see reload the page again I have to save first then go and reload the page again now you are seeing your view now generated in here perfectly in here so now go back and click on edit now you are able to edit your data also you can delete your data also you can create your new students so I'm just keep it everything empty and go to submit it now you have seen the student has been saved but it should not be saved because you can see that in here everything is empty but it has it has changed and if you click in here you can see the ascending and descending order after click on this uh, uh, title or table head so now you can see that eight ID that has been insert without any data because we have not created any model for that so that's why we are able to uh, submit our from data so if we create a model for this insert then we will be not able to submit our data then it will be failed for validation so in next tutorial we will see how to create model or uh, add a validation for our uh, submit file then we will be not able to send empty data for our submission with our submission so next next tutorial welcome for the next tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial thank you